Stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC. Today, we get to take the mystery out of the Hassan Mod 65, so Model 65 brake barrel. I was actually pretty excited about this one. I'll get into that in a minute. But before we get started here, do me a favor if you hadn't already. Please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, if you have an opportunity, check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got t-shirts, I've got hats, I've got these bipods, as you see I installed on here. Um, I also have some of my personal inventory that uh, I relinquish every once in a while, so catch that while you can. Anyway, let's get back to the subject on hand. This is the Hassan Model 65. And uh, to be honest with you, I was very curious about this gun. If you guys know in the past, I am not a fan of the Vortex gas pistons. I've had Probably a dozen of them go out on me. The, the most I've ever got out of them is about two or three years. So I was pretty excited to see this is a spring piston. So I got it on a super duper sale. And uh, honestly, I got it to the door for like 175 bucks. So I said, let's test this out. Because I was really curious. They're doing this plastic shroud now. And they're doing a plastic shroud actually over the barrel. And I was curious, let's see how well it'll perform. So this model right here is in 22 caliber. They actually make it in 0 0.177, 22 and 25 caliber. Um, the, the barrel is supposed to be made out of German steel. And then again, they um, surround it by a plastic shroud. And this one, it has an integrated moderator, which is the quiet energy um, system that Hassan is famous for. This also has the Quattro trigger, fully adjustable two-stage Quattro trigger. Uh, it also has fiber optic sights, as you guys can see on here. There's a little red in the front and that green in the back. Fully adjustable open sights. That's kind of nice that you have that option to shoot with open sights. Um, it has 11 millimeter dovetail. I actually upgraded this. I went from an 11 millimeter to a Picatinny. I like to get that scope up just a little bit, get it over the sights here. I also um, upgraded the scope on this I'm with a mill dot. This actually comes with a 3 by 9 by 32 scope. This is something that'll get you by. It's nothing fancy, that's for sure, but um, it'll get you by out of the box for you to shoot for a while, and then I would, you know, obviously you might want to upgrade it at some point. So again, uh, it comes standard with the 11 millimeter uh, dovetail. The stock on this is absolutely gorgeous. This is that Turkish walnut that they're pretty famous for. And this is beautiful. If you look at the checkering on it, it's uh, really laid out really nice. It's uh, got the adjustable uh, Monte Carlo cheek piece here, which is nice. The gun itself is about 46 and a half inches long. It, uh, it's got a 14 and a half inch barrel and it weighs about seven and a half pounds. It's not very heavy, it really isn't. It's a, it's a very solid gun. They claim in the 22 caliber with lead pellets, it'll shoot right around 800 uh, feet per second. And you guys do notice I did outfit this with my bipod kit. Those are available on my website if you guys are interested in those. But it makes such a nice stable uh, platform and this is a really good candidate for it. So like anything else, let's go take this gun out. Let's test it. Like I said, uh, when I initially got this, I was a little skeptical of this, so we're gonna we're gonna experience and just see how well this German barrel does and how the plastic shroud works on this and the whole bit. So we're gonna take it through our whole test. So let's uh, let's move on to the next segments, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it when we're all done. All right, let's test out our mod 65 here for a little velocity. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Pretty inexpensive pellet. 14.3 uh, grain. We're just going to shoot five shots. We'll average it out. And when we're done with that, I'm going to tell you how it did with another pellet that actually did it did quite well with that pellet uh, too. So like I said, five shots and uh, we'll go ahead and average this out. Let's see here. Man, this is really easy cocking effort. It really is. Not much to it at all. All right, shot number one. 796. Shot number two, 806. Shot number three, 
$7.99. Shot number four. $7.96. Let's round it off with one more. $7.98. Wow, what a low standard deviation. That's really good. We'll see how that plays out on the accuracy side. Okay, one other pellet that did well. Field target trophy, 14.66 grain. It shot roughly around the same, close to that 800 feet per second. And we also got about 21 foot pounds of energy. Good accuracy out of these as well. So like I said, this is not overly pellet picky. Um, and it looks like we're getting some pretty decent velocity out of it. So uh, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Mod 65 here for some accuracy. Uh, we're going to go ahead, today we're going to shoot the field target trophies, the 14.66s. It's not overly pellet picky. I just had some good luck with these, so I'm just going to shoot those. We're also going to be shooting our 4 inch splatter burst targets. The impact points show up really nice on these. I'll leave you guys a link below. Um, they're a lot of fun to shoot into, they really are. Alright, so we're just going to shoot five shots and we're going to go for grouping. We're our usual break barrel distance. I like to shoot just a, a simple 20 yards. And uh, go ahead and take a quick look. You can see our target up there. So let's just shoot five shots and uh, see how well we can make this group. Like I said, this thing is, there's just nothing to caulking this. There's just no effort whatsoever. Which is always good. Okay, as you can see, I'm shooting off my, my um, bipods here. Nice stable platform. This gun's actually perfect setup for these. Let's just see how well we... Well, we group here. That's one. And two. And three. And four. And let's do one more. Looks like we got a pretty good group going there. And five. Yeah, that's a heck of a group if I do say so myself. Yeah, quite the performance out of this guy. Anyway, um, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out the pull weight on the trigger on our Mod 65 here. This does have the Quattro trigger, which is fully adjustable. I did adjust it to my liking, so let's just see where it breaks. All right, we got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Let me reset it. Let's see how well we can get this to go. All right. All right, I got that set at one pound, 15. 0.5 ounces. One pound, 15.5 ounces. Yeah, I got this trigger dialed in just perfect. Really, uh, really is a nice trigger. It really is. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Mod 65 here at a little greater distance. Do a little plinking here. My favorite part of any review is the plinking. So what we're going to do, we're going to shoot once again the field target trophies, the 14.66s. I got a few targets set up there, including these little eggs. You can kind of get a perspective of how big these are. Anyway, um, we're going to shoot five targets and uh, just see how well we do. Like I said, we're about 40 yards back. Why don't you go ahead and check that out. You can see the targets that we're shooting. Got a little shotgun shell, piece of pipe, and uh, three little legs. So let's see how well we do. All right. Let's start with the shotgun shell on the left side. Dismissed. Okay. And.
and that little pipe. Whoa, that was definitely an impact. And now the three little eggs. No, I didn't say the three little pigs, three little eggs. Okay. Oh, once again, I honestly have to say this thing does hit with some authority. And one more, last but not least. I'd say that was a clean sweep. Not a bad performance whatsoever. Let's uh, move on to the next segment and uh, wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. How did our Hassan Model 65 do? I have to tell you guys, I was totally surprised. Totally surprised. Outstanding performance, really. But anyway, like anything else, let's talk a little bit about negatives first. Um, my only negatives, I don't like the cheap scope. But honestly, I'm gonna have to defend this at the price point. I mean, you're talking about an air gun that's around 200 bucks. So it comes with a three by nine by 32. This is gonna work for you out of the box, but you know, I think you're gonna wanna upgrade eventually. Like I went with the mill dot here. Just a little bit better sight picture because the gun actually, as you saw the performance, um, it definitely can justify an upgraded scope. So let's talk about the positives here. And I've got quite a few of them. You know, um, a $200 gun with all these features, this is pretty amazing. And the best part of this, this is a Hassan with a spring piston. Because as you guys know, I'm not a fan of the Vortex piston. Had too many issues with them. I've replaced pretty much every Vortex piston that I've ever had on a Hassan. They just don't last. So the spring piston is a whole different story. So I love the fact it has a spring piston and it's pretty quiet too. Very smooth, easy cocking effort. We're talking about maybe 30 pounds. So this also features the Quattro trigger, which is fantastic. You saw that, I had that tuned in just to the way I like it. So it's fully adjustable, so you can play with that. I like the fact that this comes with this gorgeous Turkish walnut stock and it's ambidextrous. It's ambidextrous and you also have the adjustable uh, cheek rest back here, which is fantastic. Another great thing, comes with the fiber optic sights, the open sights, that's good. If you're one of those that likes to shoot without the scope, you have that option of the open sights. Now I put a riser on here, and actually with this riser that I put on here, you can actually see the open sights through it. It actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to just show you a little opening there. So you can actually see the open sights through that riser. I like this. This just creates a, it's 11 millimeter to a Picatinny. It just creates a little bit more distance, gets that scope up above these sights so that there's absolutely no obstruction whatsoever, which is really nice. Um, the accuracy on this rifle was incredible. It really was. You guys shot, saw what we shot. It was amazing. And then even to go to a little further, I got to show you guys this. So these are our 40 yard targets. Check this out. So you can see pretty much where the pellets hit on these at 40 yards. I just kind of wanted to demo that for you guys. I mean, at 40 yards, this thing was hitting right on. Pretty amazing. So good velocity. We got our 800 feet per second, and that's what they called for with lead pellets. So that means we're getting right around our 20, 21 foot pounds of energy. Uh, also, the suppressor works. It's quiet. And I, to be honest with you guys, I was not sure about the plastic shroud on this. I was like, uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but you know what? After testing it, I like it. And think about it. Gamo and some of these others, they've been doing it for years. They have the, you know, the steel barrel with the plastic shrouds. So this is definitely a winner. This is working. And again, I'm going to tell you, this is a lot of rifle for 200 bucks. And what really makes this, of course, is the bipods that really made a good shooting um, platform. I showed you that. I showed you how accurate you can be with this thing. And those are on my site if you guys are interested in those. So again, this is a lot of rifle. Remember, I got this on a Supercell and I paid about $175 for this whole rifle. So um, there's some good deals out there. So I'm going to have to tell you, overall, this is 
This is unusual, but I'm gonna give this five stars. I really am. I'm thoroughly impressed with this rifle, especially at this price point. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you and your families are getting lots of shooting in. Take care and God bless.